And we have a question. The question is, um, what's your opinion on ASRock's X570M? Bought it used for 120 locally and want to put a 5950X in it. Will it handle it? Thanks. Well, first, what X570M? I mean, the M generally means micro ATX, but they make more than one motherboard. So that does have a determining factor. And whether the $120 is a good deal depends upon what it is. Having said that, in general, cheaper, smaller motherboards... There are exceptions, but generally cheaper smaller motherboards are cheaper smaller motherboards. A Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 core, 32 thread, $800 CPU deserves a hell of a lot more than $120 anything. Like what? A 250 ish dollar motherboard, something in that price range? maybe up to 300 something if you if you like asrock a b550 asrock tai chi can currently be found for um 230 220 dollars after mail and rebate they're about 260 at the moment on new egg you can get the x570 tai chi for about 40 or 50 dollars more just under 300 you can get uh an asus rug strix for about 240 250 you get the e board with all the features or the f board with a little fewer features. The ASRock um, divvied up with uh, Razer to bring out a new Ra uh, Razer Tai Chi board. Yes, I saw that. But the point is, don't stick an $800 CPU, and yes, this is a 3950X box, because I don't have the 5950X box here, but um, don't stick an $800 CPU on a used, and he bought it used? used? $120. This is a horrible plan. Don't do that. Is something wrong with it? Did the previous owner drop it? Did it short when he put it in? Do you know? That is great for a budget bill, but not a 5950X. If you were looking for a motherboard for a Ryzen 5 3600 that you picked up used for 150 bucks. I'm on board with that plan. I don't have any problem with that plan. Maybe you found a Ryzen 7 3700X used for 220. Maybe 250. I think 250 is too much, but it is the market at the moment. Uh, okay. Okay, I can I can get on board with that. An $800 CPU, man. If you have a need and a use and a place and a budget for that. Do not ruin your computer by putting some El Cheapo Micro ATX used motherboard in with your best of the best top of the line. That's, that's just asking for pain. Don't ask for pain. Don't do it, man. If you already bought the motherboard, sell it, buy a proper motherboard. Buy a new motherboard. Um, Gigabyte, it'd be a B550 Aorus Master or X570 Aorus Master. Uh, MSI, even the Tomahawk I wouldn't go with. I'd go above that. Uh, the Ace is a bit expensive, but there's boards in the mid-level there from them in the $250 price range. Part of its power delivery, part of its quality, part of its features, part of it's the fact that if you're spending that kind of money, you're not the kind of person who wants minimum USB ports, minimum M.2 slots, minimum expansion, minimum networking. Correct. Uh, it, and it's like Guy says, that it's important to have a balanced build. That would not be a balanced build. Your foundation is not even balanced. I mean, if you've got a 5950X, you're going to need ports and M.2s. and You're going to use your computer. Yeah, exactly. And, I and that's going to last a long time. The features on that board won't be enough to even satisfy your 5950X. Your 5950X will be like, Bueller? And you don't know what you're going to do with that machine two years from now. I know some people are going to say, but man, I don't need three M.2 slots. I don't need 10 USB ports. I don't need all those features. Mm, maybe, maybe not today. But a 5950X will last a long time. 
That is a very fast, very powerful. It's basically two 5800Xs glued together. There's only a single infinity fabric between them. It'll be fast and responsive. It's nearly five gigahertz. I mean, you could have that thing. For a long time. Maybe not as your primary machine, but if you retire it to your secondary computer, and in my opinion, people with that level of chip usually have more than one computer. They usually do, yeah. You might have that 10 years. Don't save 100 bucks on a motherboard on a 10-year computer. You may not regret it today. You'll regret it at some point. My experience says you will. I mean, obviously, every individual is different and every circumstance is different. I understand that. But I'm of the opinion that it's sooner or later you'll have some use case, some need, because otherwise, why are you buying 5950X? There's no point. The deal of buying the future stops at the 5900X. Yes, correct. The extra $250 for the 5950X is for people who actually need the 16 cores today. Content creators, software developers, people who run virtual machines, people who do non-gaming tasks. Yep. By the time normal gamers have any need for 16 cores, there will be a lot newer stuff to buy. Yes, there will. <laughs> That's my answer.